here today to talk about Lolita Lampica Lolita Land. And as we transition into fall, yes, it's officially been fall for uh, several weeks now, but I live in the South. So for those of us who live in a warmer climate, it took a little bit longer for that chill in the air to come around to uh, reach that time where we start thinking about those warmer, sweet, gourmand types of fragrances. Uh, but this one, Lolita Land, I feel like specifically is really just a fall or a winter scent, uh, probably for just about every yeah. have this bottle that's hated and loved. I think it's adorable. A lot of reviewers have compared this to a pumpkin and I get, you know, with the fairy tale kind of theme that's happening with Lolita Lands, I definitely can see that. This also reminds me of the older, more vintage Lolita Limpica bottles that had the apple shape and it's topped with this little plastic topper. Um, it's not the highest quality, but it's not horrible. And of course we have a winged deer uh, with a dragonfly, some floral designs, and a cute little snail. So, you know, it's giving cottage core, it's giving Bambi, it's giving Cinderella and all the above, everything Disney and so the on. Juice is a very brown, rich looking cognac colored juice. And I remember this was released in 2018. And I remember just being really interested and sort of excited to get this one. And in the promo, the juice looked uh, like a lighter peachy pink kind of color. And that concerned me when I finally got my bottle because I wanted to know if this was legitimate is the actual color of the juice. This is normal. Uh, the scent of this one, it's very linear to me. It doesn't develop at all or really too much like... What you smell in the bottle and what you smell in the first spray is what you're going to smell throughout the length of the fragrance. Speaking of, um, in terms of longevity, this one lasts forever um, to the extent where, you know, when you spray it on yourself or when I spray it on myself, I have to really scrub to just fully get the scent off of me in the shower. It's like that orange, uh, the orange scent in particular really wants to cling on. Uh, if you spray it on your clothes, Good luck with that is all I can say. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny and also annoying how much this one just does not, is unrelenting. It does never, never wants to go. It's definitely a warm, sweet, gourmand scent. It does have a unique element that makes it less than average. So besides the notes that are described in this one, I definitely pick up like an, an anise or a licorice scent. And you guys know that Lolita Lampica is famous for that. So that can be very off-putting. Personally, I detest licorice in real life, but it's something about it in this perfume. It just makes the perfume more interesting. And I feel like when I do, you know, go to sniff my wrist uh, when I'm wearing this, it's sort of for that, that total experience. Orange, the jasmine floral, the vanilla, and yes, the anise <laughs> fragrance. Um, despite the bottle having this whimsical, very whimsical design, I don't think this one is necessarily just for children. Uh, Lolita Lampica makes a note that this is a cruelty-free, 100% vegan perfume that is made from natural ingredients, so we love that, of course. I have to say that despite this being described as a Bellini with orange notes and jasmine notes uh, in the description of the fragrance, to me, and I might definitely, I'm probably definitely influenced by the color of the juice, but this smells like an orange liqueur to me. Like if an orange liqueur like Grand Marnier or Cointreau was made into a fragrance, but it's not boozy at all. Like even with the Bellini note that is supposed to be in here, it doesn't really have that champagne smell, that effervescence that I would expect from something that's a Bellini type of fragrance. It's, it's lovely. It is definitely strong. Uh, when we talk about projection I usually wear two sprays max of this um it's for me it's really about my personal experience wearing this and not so much about other people smelling it but trust me this is strong and it does project um I would say it has like a medium to high like a low high projection it's not the strongest perfume um, but it has the potential to become obnoxious so I think that Anyone between the ages of probably, you know, 14 <laughs> to like 40 might enjoy this perfume and they would enjoy it for different reasons. Um, 
the sweetness, the orange um, will probably appeal to a younger person. So they might not like the anise or the licorice uh, sort of scent that's in the Lolita Lampica DNA. For someone who's older, this conjures up feelings of innocence and sweetness, um, but there's something really darker <laughs> about it and rich and sweet. It's, it's a gourmand without being fully childish or a sappy, sweet vanilla scent. Um, it's definitely the, um, that extra element that I keep talking about. It gives it like a spiciness, but it's not a strong, it's not chai, you know what I mean? It's just something a little bit mysterious and a little bit different about this one that I personally now, like. As we go on speaking about the projection though, like I said, I would only wear about two sprays of this personally. If a child or a young adult is wearing this, probably want to caution them against going overboard, spraying like five, six, seven sprays. Because first of all, they're probably going to feel nauseous and people around them, it's going to be overpowering and too strong. Um, this is a scent definitely that is a compliment getter, which is awesome. But it's also something that you will leave a scent trail, um, you know, even spraying it modestly. There have even been times where I'm out somewhere and I'm like, someone's wearing Lolita Land. <laughs> like you can just pick it up. It's a very distinct fragrance. Um, even though this one isn't, totally unique right like i've smelled things that smell like this before and speaking of which i think that when this first came out i think that it was overhyped and i think that that led to people having just unrealistic expectations for it and then when they actually smelled it it was kind of a letdown and what i mean is that there were so many tiktokers it became like tiktok viral and all of that and people were saying it was like the best thing they ever smelled this one it is a very nice fragrance but i don't think it's a game changer i don't think it's going to be the best thing you ever smelled and i've definitely smelled similar scents in the fragrances in the past however this is a great one to have in your collection it is very affordable you know it's well worth the roughly 35 dollars that you'll probably pay for it. I have spotted this in all the usual suspects like TJ Maxx, Ross, and Marshalls. Um, I haven't seen it lately to be honest, but um, you could definitely find it online. You can even buy it directly on the Lolita Lampica website. So fragrances that I like to layer with Lolita Lands are the Bath and Body Works. This is my <laughs> not mushroom marshmallow hey it goes with the woodland theme right marshmallow pumpkin latte so the notes on this are pumpkin latte toasted marshmallows creamy sandalwood and praline musk even though lolita lands is a gourmand and a rich scent and you would probably think well why would you want to ground it there's something about that combination of the anise, the florals, the orange, everything. It's kind of wild and untamed. And I guess that's that like fairy tale sort of experience that you um, get. It sort of just tames the Lolita Land fragrance, makes it more bearable, the nauseating aspects of the um, maybe licorice or anise the praline sort of wraps around that it just they just work really well together if you have tried this let me know let me know what your experience is but i like it it it, it does sound like that could be a lot a lot going on with like coffee marshmallow orange bellini um con i'm <laughs> comparing it to cognac but just trust me on this one just trust me if you don't trust me about anything else trust me about this and if you don't like it they're still two great fragrances. This one, I mean, you could pair with just about anything that you have in your collection that is vanilla or gourmand or has any of those notes that we talked about. Um, especially like something that's a marshmallow fragrance. I would say like a more kitty marshmallow fragrance or a very sweet fragrance. Marshmallow pumpkin latte is great in my opinion for like sort of grounding things, making them sound, smell a little bit more mature and wearable. Um, especially for an adult. The other fragrance that I would pair this with is, this is Killian's Princess. This one um, was a limited edition collab that they did with Sephora several years ago. So you may not be able to get your hands on this, but to me, this is like a photorealistic vanilla scent or a vanilla floral. So just about any vanilla floral that you have. This is just the one I have in my collection. I'm not crazy about too many like vanilla florals, 
but I really was interested in this one when it came out. I've had it for a few years and it's definitely like a layering fragrance for me, but the two of these together are great. This one, I would say if you want to enhance the more sweeter uh, side of the Lolita Lands and you want to make it more vanilla, go with this one. If you want more, you know, more of the vanilla, more of the floral. Um, with this, uh, this is one that I'm able to spray Normally, if I'm wearing it alone, I would go up to four, maybe five sprays of this. So I sort of balance it out um, with the Lolita Land. I go like one, one of these, two of these, right? Let it develop a little bit, see what I think. Maybe going with one more Lolita Land, you know what I mean? When and where do I wear it? Um, Lolita Land for me is definitely one. This is just my cozy, you know, cuddle up in comfy clothes with a good book or binge watching you know rom-coms or guilty pleasure show drinking tea like that's just totally the mood of for me with lolita land not to say that i don't wear it out but yeah it's just a cozy snuggly <laughs> kind of scent for me so if you have this one i would love to hear your thoughts about if you are on the fence about lolita land again if you are not so if you are not super sensitive um if you love gourmands <laughs> and if you have reasonable expectations that this is a mandarin white peach vanilla kind of fragrance it's not probably not going to change your life especially if you're really into perfume and you collect but it's a great one to have in your collection all right you guys peace